Hello friends, welcome to Sidza.com. Now in this video we will learn about the alkanes. What are alkanes? Alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons, right? That means you only find a carbon-carbon single bond in alkanes. There's no double bond or a triple bond, right? In alkanes. And if it is if there is a carbon-carbon double bond, that will be a alkene, right? And if it is triple bond, then it will be alkyne. So in Alkanes, you, there is only single bond, so it's a saturated hydrocarbon. Alkanes are also called as paraffins, right? This term paraffin is, you know, derived from a lit, you know, a Latin word, param, and affinis. The param meaning little, and affinis meaning affinity, which means that these are the molecules very with very less reactivity or very little affinity. And the name is justified also because under the normal conditions of the temperature and the pressure, alkanes are inert, you know, they, they behave just like uh, uh, inert molecules. They don't react with most of the reagents. However, uh, under the drastic conditions, uh, means at high temperature, high pressure, these alkanes can, you know, undergo some of the reactions, mostly the substitution reactions and some other reactions, right? So, however, you know, when the temperature is very less, these alkanes do not react, right? In alkanes, since there is only carbon-carbon single bond, so around a particular carbon atom, you know, there will be four single bonds, right? Okay, there will be four single bonds. Suppose you got a two carbon molecule, two carbon alkane, and there is a carbon-carbon single bond, and rest of the valencies you can fill by adding hydrogen atoms here, right? Okay? Similarly, suppose you got a single carbon, one carbon alkane, so the molecule will be CH4, which is the methane here, right? And this one is ethane. Similarly, you can have a carbon-carbon single bond, and you can have a three carbon molecule, right? And you can add hydrogen atoms there. Now this is a propane, right? So in alkanes, the point is that you only find carbon-carbon single bond. And each carbon in alkanes is actually sp3 hybridized, right? So the hybridization here is sp3. So that means each carbon atom, uh, you know, carbon atom in alkanes will be a tetrahedral in shape, right? Because from sp3 hybridization, right, you got, uh, you know, sp3 hybridized carbon atom. Therefore, the shape will be a tetrahedral shape. So let's see how you know uh, you know this particular simple molecule will look like because it also got it has it also has a sp3 hybridization here right in alkanes. So you can see this one okay this is a methane the carbon in the center right this is just like a carbon here in the center and you got the four hydrogen atoms around it right and this is the simplest molecule the methane with sp3 hybrid hybridization right. Here this particular carbon has sp3 hybridization around, around this carbon there are four hydrogen atoms and the shape will be tetrahedral. Let's have a look you know how does this particular shape uh, look like right? Okay, just see this video. This is a tetrahedral shape in the center is the carbon and you can see four hydrogen atoms around it tetrahedrally. Okay, four hydrogen, this is the carbon, four hydrogen atoms and this is the tetrahedral structure, right? And if you have a long chain molecule, right? You suppose you got a very long chain molecule, how does a long chain hydrocarbon look like? Let's see that. Suppose you got, for example, a molecule. You can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there are eight carbon atoms here in this molecule, and each carbon atom here is what? It is sp3 hybridized, right? You can see how this long chain alkene molecule looks like. Okay, this is an eight carbon, so this will be an octane, right? This molecule is an octane. So, 
alkanes can be categorized into two you know groups number one is the cyclic alkane and the second one is open chain alkane right so we got open chain alkanes and the cyclic alkanes right in open chain alkanes you know we can start with the methane pretty simple another one is ethane ch3 single bond ch3 right you can have another one three carbon atom right and you can add the hydrogen atom there just to complete the valencies right so this is the propane right so first well you know open chain is methane and this one is an ethane and this one is propane here and then similarly you can have a four carbon atom right one two three and four and you can add the hydrogen atom is there right this will be the butane here okay this is the butane molecule in the cyclic ones right there is also uh, a carbon carbon single bond but you know the molecule is cyclic like suppose you got the CH2 single bond CH2 single bond CH2 and here you have a single bond between so this is a three carbon molecule you know which is uh, cyclopropane actually you know this is called as a cyclopropane okay this is the cyclopropane and you know no, normally we, we show it like this you know like a triangle in the bond line representation and you know this this point represents one carbon this is another carbon this is another carbon right so this is a three carbon cyclic cycloalkane right this is a cyclopropane similarly you can have a butane also ch2 single bond ch2 right four carbon atoms and forming you know a cyclic molecule this will be called as a cyclobutane right cyclobutane here and we can also represent it like this like a square here right each carbon each here corner represents a one carbon atom okay this is a cyclobutane and you can see the number of hydrogen atoms in the cycloalkanes is less by two that you find in you know cyclo uh, you know uh, in the open chain alkanes for example in in the propane here right you know when you have an open chain propane how many carbon atoms are there one two three four five six seven and eight and how many carbon atoms in the cyclopropane you see two to four to six right so here you got eight hydrogen atoms but here you got only six hydrogen atoms right similarly in butane you know you can see this is basically the c4h10 right so here you find 10 hydrogen atoms here in this case and here in this one you find only eight hydrogen atoms so that means cyclic uh, you know uh, alkanes they contain two hydrogen atoms less uh, than the parent you know open chain alkane and therefore the formula you know the general formula of alkanes uh, we know it is uh, it is the cn h2n plus 2 right okay in cyclic alkanes the general formula will be will be less right less by 2 here right it is cn h2n only right so here you see the CnH2n plus 2 so here you see only the CnH2n so like you got the cyclopropane three carbon atoms so C3H6 right C3H6 here the formula is C3H6 here it is C4H10 H8 right hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now